CSGO, a veteran FPS game we all have played since our childhood. Well, CSGO has been in hype since a long time until Valorant and other games came in action. Yet CS is by far the most played FPS in history. Well, today we will be diving into CSGO and I will be showing you guys how to gain more FPS and get a smooth lag free experience in CSGO on a low end device. Hey guys, Bearfox here and welcome back to another FPS guide. And before moving ahead, I request you guys to hit the subscribe button since 98% of you guys haven't yet subscribed. And let's roll the intro. Although CS isn't a very high-end rig demanding game, it's more of a CPU intensive game like Valorant, so we need to focus more on prioritizing our CPU. So let's begin with the process. So I've made a list of what we need to do. Step number one is turning off the background apps. So for that, open up background apps and over here, make sure to let run apps in the background is turned off. When you do this process, your PC restricts apps running in the background, saving you a lot of memory and CPU usage. So make sure to do this step. Also, search for startup apps and over here, make sure to disable unwanted startup apps. Startup apps are the apps which starts up with the boot of your PC. So we need to disable unwanted startup apps to save a lot of RAM consumption as soon as the PC boots. Over here, search for graphic settings and then go to browse and then look for the install location of csgo now once you're in the install directory of counter strike select csgo.exe hit add then go to options and then make sure to put it on high performance then hit save now close the graphic settings with that, I want to introduce you guys to today's sponsor, Buff.Game. Buff is an app which allows gamers to earn buff coins through which they can buy gift card and in-game rewards. In other words, Buff allows you to earn while you play. Buff has over 10 competitive games to choose from and you get challenges from each game. Buff keeps records of your in-game analytics and rewards you accordingly. Once you collected the points, you can go to the market and get your desired gifts by redeeming those points. Simple. The best part of this app is that it doesn't affect your in-game performance. Here's a clip of me playing Valorant with and without using Buff. You guys can see there is no difference at all. Simply click the link in the description below and download Buff today. Next thing is to delete the temporary files. For that, press Windows and R all together and type in percentage temp percentage and click on OK and then delete all of the unwanted temporary files. Note that these are temporary files so deleting them won't do any harm to your PC. Now some files won't be deleted because they are being used by your PC. So click on this checkbox and then hit skip. So once you are done deleting the temporary files, you need to do a disk cleanup for Windows C. For that, open up disk cleanup, then select C drive over here, and then select temporary internet files, scroll down, select recycle bin, and then temporary files, thumbnails, and leave the rest of them, hit OK, and then hit delete files. Alright, once done with that, download the CSGO optimization pack, I'll be leaving a link to this in my description below, extract it and it will open up like this. You'll find Memreduct as well as launch option txt over here, open this launch options and then copy this whole code and then open up your steam. Over here, right click on your counter strike global offensive and then go to properties. Then in the launch options, make sure to paste this code and then go back. You'll find a line which says thread with a squiggly line. For this thing, press Ctrl, Shift and Escape all together and then go to performance. Click on the CPU and you guys will see cores over here. So basically, you have to put the number of cores in your thread. For me, there are 6 cores, so I have to put 6 thread instead of the squiggly line. Doing this step will reduce your CPU and GPU consumption, allowing to open and run the game more faster. Also, it enables multi-threaded rendering. So, once done with that, go back to the optimization folder and then install Memreduct. Once you open Memreduct, as you guys can see, there is 98% usage of my memory as shown in Memreduct, while there is 47% virtual memory usage and 44% physical memory usage. As soon as I hit clean memory and I hit yes, just have a look at this. The memory usage falls down. I highly recommend you guys run Memreduct every time you open up this game. 
All right, so we are done with all of these things. Now hit play and then open up Counter-Strike Global Offensive. And now let's move to the in-game settings. All right, once you open up CSGO, go to the settings menu and over here, go to video and then go to video settings. Now for the upper settings, you can go for a lower resolution and a lower aspect ratio, but make sure to change them for the display settings as well. Now in the advanced video settings, you don't have to change a lot of settings. For the global shadow quality, make sure to go for very low. For multi-core rendering, you guys can either go for enabled and disabled. Just make sure to take a performance test and whichever runs good, you guys can go for multi-core rendering, enabled or disabled as per as your preference. For FX AA anti-aliasing, make sure to go for disabled and for motion blur, make sure to go for disabled. And for texture filtering mode, go for bilinear as this is by far the fastest filtering mode. With all that said, you guys can go into the game and have fun. I hope this video helps you out and if it does, make sure to do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. We'll see you guys with more awesome guys like this. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.